Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thanks for joining me for another beer review. So guys, we're taking a look at another collaborative beer here on the table tonight. We are going to the UK to Wonder Beyond Brewing Company. Uh, I think these guys are out of Manchester, if I'm not totally mistaken. And they have teamed up with Arpus Brewing Company out of Latvia. We're taking a look at their Oxford and Lauren Imperial Pastry Sour with berries. Clocking in at a lovely, respectable 11% ABV, 440ml can on this one. Uh, Vegan friendly, they say. And uh, well, the rest is basically impossible to read. Just such a small font there. Imperial Pastry Sour. There's a spin around on the can. There you go. Yeah. Wonder Beyond, guys, and the Arpus Brewing Company, Imperial Berry Pastry Sour. There we go. Okay. So... There we go. So I have, I have had a few beers from both Wonder Beyond and from Erpus. Uh, so I'm familiar with both breweries. There we go, guys. Uh, let's pour a little bit more beer in. A couple of drops left in the old can there. Uh, what do we have? Two fingers worth almost of a pinkish... Head, small bubbles on top. Look at that. Ruby red, murky. You can hear the carbonation, hiss and fizz. Really, really nice. Look at that. Nice, nice presentation on the nose then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You get that lovely, right away you get that berry nose. That kind of... Probably with the addition of lactose. Yeah, you get that very particular smell, which is very pleasant, of course. Yeah, a little bit of custard, vanilla custard. A little bit of uh, kind of, I don't know, like a mix of uh, strawberries and something else. Red berries, anyway. Hint of blueberries coming through as well. I mean, it smells it smells delicious, actually. Downright delicious. So with that said, guys, let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Cool. Okay. Right, so not exactly what I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, oh yeah, it's a sour. <laughs> it's a sour, quite acidic aftertaste, lingering, quite acidic. Now, I'm going to pour the rest of that beer out so we get so we get all the sediments in there. There we go, guys. Right. Look at that. The head rose again. Lovely. Let's go for a second sip. See what we get. Mm. So it's quite bitter, to be honest. Uh, bitter, almost like kind of astringent. Very, very sour aftertaste, quite acidic, hard hitting. Do I get any uh, red berries in there? Yes, I do. I get some cherries. I get like a little bit of raspberry in there. Uh, overall, red berries, acidic. Not so much in the way of sweetness, to be fair. Uh, yeah, it's a hard hitting sour. Uh, there's almost kind of a dry, spicy vibe to it. Cinnamon-like almost uh, coming through as well here. Oh, sorry. A lot of carbonation. Uh, let's go for the final sip. 
Oh, heavily carbonated air. Oh. Mouth puckering, hard hitting uh, sourness at the back end, almost like metallic uh, taste to it. Faint hint of uh, vanilla, sour red berries, cherries, raspberries on the taste. Uh, yeah, it's quite harsh to be honest. A little bit of a harsh beer, uh, but it's okay. 11%. You don't really get much of that alcohol. It is quite a bit astringent there. Uh, Wonder Beyond Brewing Company, guys, uh, teamed up with Arpes Brewing Company. And this is their Oxford and Lauren Imperial Pastry Sour with berries. 11%. Uh, would not have guessed 11% at all. But it is a little bit hard hitting. It, it's a little bit harsh on the palate. Uh, heavily carbonated. Hard hitting sourness. Uh, not bad at all, but for me, uh, I'm going to give it a 3.25 out of 5. Thanks for watching.